hi hello welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial what we are going to see is like mash audio so we are going to add audio for mash okay fine so if you are ready to subscribe do subscribe if you have anything to comment please comment in the comment box okay now let us go into the uh, tutorial so first of all what I'm gonna do I'm just taking a, a cube here I'm just going to have it somewhere here okay so where I can just go uh, scale it a little bit so that I want this much and going to make it as bevel okay so I just uh, changed into bevel and what I'm gonna do just uh, after doing this bevel so I have to go to FX here and go to mesh and create mesh network okay so you'll get this one here okay so something like this here in this cube okay and uh, it was beveled and here are two cylinders here okay and in the cylinder I just gone with the boolean okay so I'm just selecting this one okay this is a box beveled going into attribute here in this mesh I'm going to go to audio before going to mesh audio I have to lift this one up for that what I'm going to do I just want to add transform if I just go press w if i just move it nothing will happen okay for that what i'm gonna do just go add a transform node if i just add transform node you'll get into this transform node you must create a controller null okay so right click go for create so after creating it this will get transformed okay so you can easily transform to the edge of this okay fine after that what i'm gonna do just go to the mesh distribute okay so I have to uh, find the mesh distribute here just right click go to mesh distribute okay this is what I have I'm going to go to radial here so we'll have this radial here I'm just going to reduce the radius of it okay going back to a uh, windows outliner okay here I have transform I'm just going to move it up okay this is good after that where you can just go to uh, mesh again and you can go to the distribute so you can just change the angles here this is good angle so I want this to uh, use that so just go to this go to the left view here let me put it straight away somewhere in between this okay go to the top view I'm just going to make it center okay so I got this one after that what I'm gonna do I'm just going to increase the divisions like uh, I'm going to increase the distribute a little bit more so this will be okay for me got it now I'm just going to add color for this as I did for this okay so let me show you how this is going to emit light okay so there is no light just go into this I'm just going to go for Arnold open this one and play this one so you can see this one right and this is emitting light and this one it is uh, seen here okay so what I'm gonna do stop it go back to this okay so you can place your logo here okay it can be a text or any logo which you're going to create okay fine I'm just going to select these things that is mesh which we created right click and go to new material here okay so go to Arnold and pick up AI standard surface so after creating it here you have color I'm not going to touch the color here here I'm coming to emission in this emission if I just make it that is weight to one so now you see that this uh, these object will also emit the light that looks better so I'm just coming back to this okay here I'm not going to use a single color what I'm gonna do just click on this and I can use uh, any any uh, light from here and I can emit from those okay here I'm going to use ramp here so just go to ramp click on this uh, black color button kind of circle so where I can just go here I'm just going to make it red here okay so I'm just going to make that one red somewhere like this and go to this white click on it okay just go for blue little bit of blue I'm just going to add blue so this gives you uh, a red and blue let me check with this so let me play that one yes that's great right so where I can just uh, move this one so that you can uh, you can see the difference here where I can just go go here and now you can see 
two two lights okay where can just go here at any time you can just change the color whichever you need okay so this color will be okay or pink whichever brighter and whichever suits for you you can just go for it okay so uh, i can go for something yellowish okay so that will be better yeah this is good right okay so i'm just going to leave as it is if you want to add any other color just click this one and i can go here i can just add red here so you see three colors okay so now after creating this you play with this colors okay so i'm just closing this out what i'm gonna do here i just created a circle with mesh okay now so i'm just going into the mesh here okay right in add node you'll find audio what i'm gonna do select the mesh click on this add audio node okay so it will take you to the another uh, mesh audio box in this you'll have file name okay just click on it and search for a uh, uh, music here okay search for uh, any music which has to be a uh, wave format so i'm just going to open this one okay after opening if i play this you check this one out this is playing right so let me go see it in the output you see that with the colors okay so it it animates with the color just going for this open it from the top view this is how it works okay so if i play this you can see the things happening right so that can be done that's simple right so what i'm gonna do let me see it here i'm just going to activate this wireframe on shade so that you can visually see it here viewport itself okay so you have spectrum here okay if you change it to average let me go back if i play this you see everything is getting played okay go back here if i just change to average you see what is going to happen just play this one it's going to start from here and it's going to runs towards this 360 degree angle okay so just stop it if you want to enable position you can enable position this will also get affected if i want to go with y-axis movement so this will happen if you want to go with x-axis movement that will also happen but i'm not uh, not going to go for x-axis because that is something different so i'm just going to use it something like this so go back play this one wow so you can use uh, the x-axis position where you can just come here and you can just go for render in any angle you want okay just going back to zero okay y-axis so if you want to uh, affect that in z-axis you can do that and also in x-axis also so if you go with any angle so use these things play with these things okay so that will give you needed effect so that can be done so you can have a rotation you see that is getting rotated if i just go for 360 here so if i play this you see that is going to get rotated some rotation will happen so i just go rotate this one so some rotation is happening right okay so that can be done with this rotation so i'm just going to make it zero here okay so stop this one here we have y-axis scale if you want that to be scaled in x-axis you can go for this so you see y-axis scaling happening and also x-axis scaling happening so that can be done and also you can go with z-axis scaling so if i want this way so i can just go for this way where i can just go here i make it 50 so you see that this will also happen so whatever angle you need you can just create i go with spectrum here let me play this out so that's beautiful right so you can use all these three you can use position you can use rotation you can use scaling here i'm going to use only y axis where i can just increase it so that this is going to affect much here so if i play this one this is going to scale something a little bit more exaggerated so that can be done so coming down here you'll have maximum bands okay so if you increase that if i just go play this is going to affect more in your the audio spectrum okay so if i just put it less you see 
this is going to apply till the specified bands okay so if i just go more it will affect all the sides so go for it so we'll explore more on this and also the strength if you don't want the random strength you can just make it smaller that is 0.2 it will not affect uh, all of the mesh distribute but certain certain uh, objects it will get affected if i go more it will get affected randomly for the object okay so you can just reduce the strength so if you want only the half to be uh, applied okay so you can just go for it if you want it to affect fully you can just go one if you don't want anything just go for zero here so if you want only one you can just go here reduce it you can just work on it okay so that can be done i'm going to go for one here so reduce the strength you can just reduce the strength that will not affect more let me go more let me move the strength to one that will affect lot okay so you try this okay so you work in different way you can just have it in the curves okay you can use curves and you can have it in the curves or you can just go for any of your creative idea you can work on this so that will give you a pleasant and good looking so here you see you don't uh, uh, hear the audio what you have to do is if I want to bring the audio inside Maya what I have to do I have to go to this empty space right click go to audio okay so import audio I'm just going to bring up the music here so stop it go play this one yes that's great right so I'm going to stop it here just go to the top view here somewhere here so I'm just going to uh, select both of this and going to place it here zoom it inside okay so that will make some difference so right click break this connection I want this to be white yes that's perfect go for this play this one yes this looks bad more better than that yes so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe share it with your friends if you have any comments please leave your comments in the comment box thanks for watching